Now that we've learned how to move a page around and set it up, we need to start adding specific notes to performers or instructors. Let's go back into print mode and start with text box. Once I have clicked create a new text box, I can click and drag that anywhere on my field within the same crop box as we were working with in the last video. I can move this around with the handles, center one for positioning. And then I can add some text or instructions or whatever I so choose. Once that's done, I have options also to change the font. Make it whatever size it needs to be. And confirm that change. If I need this text box to be on another page or twice on the same page or on every page, I can use the copy functionality, paste new to add it to the same page or paste to all pages in order to, uh, let's say, create a legend that is going to be constant throughout my show. Another tool for marking up our score and for giving directions is the arrow tool, also located in print mode. The arrow tool lets me very simply click somewhere and drag an arrow. Once that's done, I can reposition either side of the arrow and add new arrows by clicking the add new arrow button. That's pretty much all there is to do about arrows. I'm just going to refit that to the page. There is one other place that I can add notes. That being the bottom left corner, I have reserved for my set notes that I might be writing as I'm writing the drill, rather than going to print mode and adding a text box in as I go. And there are a few ways to get to set notes. One would be to go to the drill menu, set properties. I can do this from 2D or 3D mode as well. This is where you may remember we're changing things like the number of counts in a set or the tempo of a set. Whether it's a set or a subset, I can add rehearsal marks um, to make this come up as over here now, set one is rehearsal mark A. What I can also do is add notes. So these are some notes. And once I move over here, we can see them pop propagate at the bottom of the screen. There's about, you can fit about five lines of text in there all the way over to the Envision logo. Plenty of space to add whatever you need to add per set.